ASLS is an innovative concept that combines the benefits of nailing with the angular stable plate technique. The use of ASLS produces a stable construct inside the bone, thus reducing the risk of bone fragment displacement during the healing phase. ASLS also provides better purchase in poor quality bone. Davos in Switzerland. On the ice track, participants, including professional athletes, experience crashes on this ride from hell. Serious accidents are inevitable here. This young man has suffered a complicated fracture of the tibia, which will be treated with a medullary nail. Basically, either plates or nails can be used for the surgical management of such fractures. Nailing offers the advantage of a minimally invasive technique and central load transfer. With ASLS, Synthes has developed a system that provides angular stable locking of the nails. We can therefore apply the familiar LCP principle of angular stability employed for plates to nailing. In the LCP system, the screw is locked in the screw head by means of a thread. With ASLS, by contrast, the bioresorbable sleeve around the screw performs this task. In fact, this is essentially a different system. The nail now becomes a locked internal fixator, an internal fixator with a central load axis. This is possibly even preferable to the LCP principle, which has to cope with eccentric loading, thus combining the best of both worlds, axial load transfer and angular stable internal fixation. We have achieved the angular stability by using a sleeve that works just like a wall plug. This sleeve is pre-assembled on the gold tip. The screw itself comes in three different diameters. During screw insertion, the sleeve expands in the middle as a result of the increasing diameter. This deformation and press fit secures the construct of nail and screw with angular stability. The shear forces associated with wobbling are firstly detrimental to fracture healing and, secondly, most likely to cause pain. Ultimately, of course, if the bone is weak, as an osteoporotic bone in the elderly, this can lead to secondary loss of reduction. This is totally comparable with the LCP principle of the angular stable plate, where the various angular stable screws together produce a stable situation, and it's just the same here. At the AO Research Institute in Davos, the ASLS system has been subjected to a series of biomechanical tests. We have carried out both static and dynamic tests on tibial bone specimens in order to establish the biomechanical behavior of the ASLS system. In these static tests, we have been able to show that nails locked with ASLS permit less movement in the fracture for a given load than the conventional systems. With this test setup, we were able to expose the constructs to cyclical axial and torsional loads under realistic conditions. The tests showed that the angular stable locking provides much greater stability than existing locking systems, particularly in osteoporotic bone and where there is minimal contact between the nail and medullary canal. Angular stable nail locking was investigated in a study with sheep, which showed that the animals were able to resume full weight bearing sooner than with conventional nailing. The research results are very encouraging and have been acknowledged with the award of a scientific prize. 
The extent to which the results can be applied to human patients is to be investigated in a wide-ranging clinical study. The experts hope that the results will prove just as positive as in the animal studies. Preliminary experience suggests that there is probably less pain and undoubtedly fewer secondary dislocations, which are rare of course, but very troublesome when they do occur. The first patients that we have treated with angular stable locking have been able to weight bear to a greater extent than we would normally permit. Two pictures from a prolonged case. Third degree open fracture, here you can see the flap provision, no support, small fragment, comminuted fracture. It was treated secondarily with a medullary nail. With distal angular stable locking, the patient was able to experience full weight bearing painlessly. We would not have expected or permitted this with conventional locking. Angular stable locking has taken nailing a major step forward from the technical standpoint. In future I could imagine a further development involving a combination of nailing and plating technology. The further potential is not yet exhausted and will emerge in clinical practice. I expect that surgeons will be able to treat fractures with ASLS that cannot currently be managed with nails. And the future certainly looks bright if the benefits are confirmed. Perhaps it will be possible to use a thinner medullary nail in order to promote biological processes and improve the elasticity for fracture healing which is definitely a desirable aim. The physiological and biological elasticity can now be completely determined by the nail. Thanks to ASLS, the principle of angular stability is also embodied in nailing. Together, the experts will lead the way to the future, striving every day to improve patient care. Driving for superior stability. Nailing with ASLS leads the way to intermedullary fixation. ASLS. Improved stability. Decreased risk of secondary loss of reduction. Improved fixation in osteoporotic bone. Compatible with existing nail portfolio.